The assignment feature is ideal when you want to collect a submission from each student that cannot be viewed by others in the class. To begin, go to the Class Work tab and choose the Create button to select Assignment. Title your assignment and add in any instructions. Grade category, enter your points, a due date, and assign a topic if desired. I can use these tools to attach files, videos, or links. And if I choose the Google Drive option, I have some additional features I can take advantage of. I will browse my drive and choose something akin to a digital worksheet. Once I've selected it, I can decide if students can simply view it, edit my original copy, or I can ask Google to make a copy of it for each student. This is perfect for my activity where I want students to each get a copy of these questions that they can then answer on their own. Like other posts in Classroom, you can assign it now or schedule it for later release. Now let's switch to Student View. Here's an assignment that I did not choose that option to give students a copy of something from my Google Drive. After the student clicks View Assignment, this is simply a place for students to turn in work to me. They have the option to add an item that lives in their Google Drive, or they can provide a hyperlink for their project. They can even upload something that lives on their computer. If nothing needs to be submitted, they can choose Mark is Done. In contrast, when students visit an assignment like this one where I asked Google to make a copy of the document for each student, there will be some differences, but students start similarly by selecting View Assignment. When students click on the attachment, Google will make a copy of the item with the student's name. Students initially have editing permissions and can complete the digital activity you provided. And when finished, they click the Turn In button to submit their work. This will take them back to Google Classroom where they will need to confirm their submission. I'll go back to the tab with the Open Student Document to show you how Google adjusts editing permissions. After students submit their work, their permissions change to View Only. If a student wanted to make any changes, they would need to revisit Classroom, unsubmit their work, which restores editing access, and then they would need to resubmit it. And students can only resubmit their work if a teacher has not yet graded the assignment. Now let's return back to Teacher View to see what submitted work looks like. As students submit work, teachers can click on the assignment to receive updates about how many students have submitted the assignment. Clicking on the Turned In column takes you to Student Submissions, and filters at the top let you swap between submitted work and assigned work that students haven't yet opened or completed. Clicking the thumbnail will open each student's submission. Right now, I am in suggestion mode, where any changes I make on the document would become suggestions but would not permanently alter the student's document. I can toggle to editing mode if I want to make direct changes. The comment bank is an amazing feature that can help speed up grading time. I'll visit the comment bank and add in some of the comments I envision using often when scoring this assignment. To use a comment, simply highlight an item in the student's work and choose Add Comment. If you enter a hashtag, a list of your most recently used comments will appear, and you can choose the appropriate one. If you don't see a comment that you've recently added to the bank, just refresh your screen, or start typing the first few letters of that comment to bring it up, and this will then add it to your recent list. Enter the grade for the student in the right panel and add any comments you wish for them to see, if applicable. Students will not see their score or comments until you click Return. You can do that individually, one at a time, or you can close this tab and return back to the main assignment screen, and then you will be able to select all students or multiple students and return all of their items at once. Once you return work, students will see their score and regain ownership and editing rights for the document. If you are using the gradebook in Google Classroom, you can view student scores by assignment there as well. The assignment tool on the Classwork tab is ideal for collecting files of any type from students, which provides streamlined and organized electronic workflow.